guys welcome back on my channel again another salon tutorial for you and i'm in with maggie today hi and maggie is awesome like she's i call her almost like mommy just wrap in your hands uh she's one of my most regular clients i was even doing her news like ages ago well before we start uh, running the salon so and this is going to be some holiday nails for her. So I'm infilling not my work, but it's the same products which are used in. So just getting my e-file ready. And we are going to remove the color, check for any liftings, and then apply a fresh gel. So Maggie is also working with the Patrick as well, the cameraman, and uh, um, one of the local bars. They've got sometimes kind of scary, kind of funny stories. <laughs> Lots of them. Lots of them, yeah. I always say in the pub, I'm the mouth and Patrick's the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they've got fun together. We also used to work with Maggie in the same hotel, just a um, uh, time before we open up the salon as well. It was a beautiful hotel up in a hill called Highland Hotel How many years ago was that? 11? Oh, we joined it and it was a just a couple months before we was getting married. So that was in 2007 and we months. you started on the 13th of February, we started on the 14th? 14th yeah. yeah, I even remember the dates. Yes, yes. Crazy, isn't it? Time fly. So as you can see, there is not much of the lifting, which is going to make my job really nice and easy, because I can just remove the color, blend all that product, and then we can apply a fresh one. We're still going so for some pinks, new, a bit of sparkle and we will see what else as we go Maggie is lucky she's away on holiday where are you off to? Turkey lovely a week Wednesday I think we all need a bit of sunshine mm -hmm. and a bit of change a bit of normality mm -hmm. I think that's what I miss the most, like, you know, the back to normal thing, because there is no weddings going on, no, there is, like, no nightclubs, no events, like, everything is cancelled. That one always goes this color. Are you smoking I with smoke. this mouth? No. But is it not this hand? No. That is weird. Tea? Coffee? No tea? Tea bag. No, no, because I'm right-handed. Hmm. I'm smoking and it's funny, it's not this finger which goes uh, stained, it's the pinky. Uh, it must be the way I kind of it hold it, yeah. But you've got nice natural nails, so... I don't think my nails have been not, like, not painted. For the last so many years, isn't it? So I've got a wee chip here at the end and I need to really blend that product out. Okay, you can take it. So when I'm filing, I keep all the time contact and the same pressure with the product. And I'm using the safety bit, it's actually a fantastic bit for the product removal. Hi! Hi! I'm away. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Oh, we was trying some glitter on this pinky. That's a nice glitter. And that was the Ervina, uh, our hairdresser, just popping in. Very good hairdresser. Yeah. I actually need to, like, I don't know 
have a wee catch up with a drink or something with the girls. <laughs> Just to chill out. I mean, it has been a tough time. Yeah, but this way we have filed all the product away and then I can swap into the hand file and I can do a little bit of the cuticle work and apply a fresh product. I keep my e-file in a drawer so it doesn't, it doesn't get dusty. And now I'm just going to uh, push back the cuticles. So pretty decent amount of the push, but not hurting the client. I usually tell them like if a sore to kick me under the <laughs> table. <laughs> I actually never got the kick, so it's not too bad. I'm actually jealous about the little sunshine you are going to have. No, I can't wait. Two weeks of nothing. Yeah, just chilling. Joe. But you deserve it. Like, you right. have been working hard all year round and... So I think maybe we'll brave the beach mm. instead of the pool. So... A couple of boat trips. Lovely. I've been in Turkey once as well for the, actually twice, teaching for the training, yeah. yeah, teaching there. I was had a nice time as well with the girls. I love Turkey. But they was checking like, you know, the car with the metal kind of thing, yeah. like when we was driving into the resort, so... And uh, I took some money with me, like I thought, because each time when I'm uh, going somewhere, you know me, like I like the um, kind of unique clothes yeah. and, and I'm trying to find always the bits and pieces uh, in different places. And I wasn't even out from the yeah. hotel. <laughs> it's so cheap. Yeah, you have told me that, yeah. like so nice stuff mm -hmm. in there. Amazing. So I was hoping I will get some nice stuff, but I didn't. And then in the airport, I have panicked a little bit because I was on my own, like that I didn't manage to catch the flight. And I didn't spend even much time on the, um, when you enter the airport, duty free. Uh, on the duty free. And I, I was so gutted because they had some nice clothes in there as well. Yeah. So it was a shame. I don't know what it was like this time. I think there's, it's open like duty free and that, but I don't think there's masses of like stop and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. I still got lots of like even money left because I didn't, didn't even use it. use it at all. So I have dehydrated the nails with the tiny bit of the blue scrub just so um, I remove any kind of oils before I start filing because I don't want to get them in. And then just blend everything out before we apply fresh gel. But yeah, I was even saying to Patrick, like, because uh, I've got any kind of holidays money, because when we was going in different places, I keep them in a money bank, just yeah. with the name of the currency. <laughs> got quite a lot of turkey money. It's good, the nearest high just now. So is it? Yeah, I think it's like nine something. I can't really remember good. what I have paid for it. So I'm also reshaping them to make sure they are nice. And I'm going to keep the lent. It's a holiday yeah. once, isn't it? I think they make your finger fingers. Fingers, definitely. But you've got nice straight fingers yeah. as well. It's the only thing that's straight. <laughs> oh, come on! So I'm really making sure there is no wee shiny places left.
Maggie snails are really easy to do, like she's got nice strong natural nails, they scratch really well, the product lasts really well. <laughs> you do it to London. Yeah, we done it for a scratch. It was a scratch uh, scratch stars competition, mm -hmm. but that was well, 2011, mm -hmm. ages ago. So Maggie also has a wee ridge in here, and that is always there. Um, I never overfile it, it just has to be this way, so I'm making sure there is no shine around it, because um, I don't want the product to lift from these places. But we was doing for this uh, scratch ones, we was doing those uh, ombre, um, kind of latte color with the white and some glitter on top of it, I remember. Right. <laughs> Again, the designs have been so much different, like nine years ago than they are now. But it was a good time. Yeah. It was a good time. So I also show you like I'm always filing nice and straight, nice and straight and this way I can find out if the nail is going into the good shape and then correct it. And then any lifting which is on this nail and on the middle one I need to get rid of that. We never apply the gel. Um, onto the product which is lifting. I'm just thinking maybe we should put a small extension on this one. So getting rid of the lifting and then I will see um, how to keep it Hi. or put the extensions. Hi! another one again tiny bit of lifting I think you have been using this hand more than the other one which is funny because it's your left hand isn't it mm -hmm. Also, always removing the any bulk of the product which is at the free edge because we don't need too much product at the free edge. And then the last one. Okay, so after the most uh, part of filing is done, because uh, I tend to file quite quick, I'm going back into the first hand, I'm checking the land because I don't want one, don't know. Okay, I'm not going to put extension on this one because they all kind of same land. It seems like this hand is a little bit longer okay then it's a part to remove the dust and what I will do is under the light I will search for any shiny places which I could miss and I would go with the corners of the file like touch them up to make sure there is no missing places. I can switch off this fan. It's actually a useless one. Like I had much better ones before. Like I think it was less dust like flying it's with the catching. other ones. No, this one is not catching us well. The other one was looking really bad now, like damaging from the products and all, but at least was doing a job mm -hmm. properly. <laughs> 
So the, this is a double check on the nails. Like want to make sure they're all nicely prepped. Because if you do a good prep, the product is going to last really nice. That's it. The messy bit over. The messy bit over. Oh, we've got one more rant to go with the uh, filing and shaping them properly. So that's a blue scrap, which is a new dehydrator. And I'm just going to clean those nails properly. So most of my clients will be going for a rebalance constantly. Like, because if the natural nails are good condition, there is no point to cut them and start again. And then in a case if they break a one nail or something, we can always easily um, sculpt the one nail and they will be all matching again. So I'm really washing them properly with the nail dehydrator, then an extra nail dehydrator. And I quickly will show you how to put the gel on them as well. So nice all over, all places. There is a bit of stain on. It's actually those two which are mm. stained as well. I might see it, might drill it maybe from underneath as well. And the Universal Air Bond. So this one gives me a really great adhesion to the natural nails. And if there is any places which I have filed like from the free edge, I need to touch it. So I'm only applying it into the natural nail. I just move that because I'm scared we might be out of camera. <laughs> I'm missing cameraman. Patrick is always so helpful. And always so busy. Yeah, but you know, he's he's really good at those uh, pictures as well yeah. now. Like, he really enjoy it. Well, that's good pictures he's got this for mm -hmm. He passed it. Uh, the teacher gives him A grade for, for the college, which he was right, doing. Okay. So that was awesome. So nice and thin layer on the entire nail. Nice and thin layer. With this nice and thin layer, I can really press the product into the nail. And if I press it really well to the nail, it is going to less likely to lift. And if you've got too much product on your brush, you cannot really like squeeze it into the nails, you know? So very little product pushed into the nail. Capping the free edge and then straight away this nail is almost perfect and it's only a morning time so the gel has a really nice consistency, it's not as runny. I can just build up the apex. And then freeze this hand inside the lamp and do exactly the same on this hand. So you can see my brush is splitting and this way I'm capping the free edge as well. So like the product is everywhere. If you feel it hot and the lamp on the pinky, that's the place where I put the more gel, you can take it anytime and that's then fine. put it back in. I'm also always fixing the shape of the nail with every single step. So when I'm applying the gel, I will fix the shape. When I'm applying the gel polish, like when I'm filing, I will fix the shape. When I'm applying the gel polish, I will fix the shape. And I even fix the shape when I'm applying the top coat because sometimes a tiniest drop of the product might make a big difference. So I'm always, every single step is to kind of get me closer to the desired look. Change. And I'm always working, so like I'm always would be swapping the hands. Now the second layer, nice and thin. And now because I've got lots of product in this part here, I don't want this product to be there. Like I don't want to add much of the product in these places. So I'm really concentrating on my apex, which cannot be overly too large for such as short natural nails. And then I'm smoothing it out into the rest of the nail. Change. 
So same in here, I've got product there from the previous application. So nice and thin layer everywhere. Fix this shape here. Tiny bit of product to move my apex. Press the brush high, harder so I can remove the bulk of the product. Cap the free edge change. I've got camera just straight in front of my nose. So I'm doing exactly the same on this one as well. Nice and thin layer, fill up the apex. And you can see I have hardly applied much of the product in this place. I can do one more, so nice and thin layer, nice and thin layer. And then my apex. So I want to move oh, yeah. the apex and cap the free edge. Hi, I'm good, good, thank you. Are you busy, busy? Yeah, Change. glad to be open. In a good way, like a nice busy. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Patrick keeps saying he was so desperate uh, yesterday, oh, but he couldn't. Good. He really wants to come in, like yeah. to the gym. You know, you know, Patrick, like uh, he had been crazy there. after, oh, after the gym. But oh, yeah, he's good. desperate. He he really will come, but he's got lots of work to, to catch up on. Oh, he'll make it in soon. Uh huh. So you can you could see I have added product more into one side because this needle wasn't even and I'm going to leave it this way um, and then add it more product. Thank you. Perfect. Thank Thank you. You. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Build up the okay. Thank you. Change. <laughs> enjoy. See you, enjoy. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, because you need to have a cooler temperature, like you know, so it's not too, not too warm for exercising. So I'm doing exactly the same here. Yeah, I just give you that two seconds. Sorry, trying to build up the apex. But you busy? Hi. Yeah. Awesome change. So. I just put you guys on hold. No, that's the stuff. Oh, the blue scrap and the tips. Perfect. Thank okay, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, I had some lady popping in for a wee product order because, <laughs> as you know, guys, we run the distribution of the Neil Perfect products as well, and my new brushes, and they are amazing. Did I show you them? I've seen them. They're beautiful. Have you? Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of them. And then building up a wee apex on this one. And uh, I need to go back to this nail now because I have managed to improve the shape. Tiny bit of apex. So on the each nail, I have to apply the product slightly different when we're doing the rebalance change. I'm not going to risk it, the thumb. So this hand is all infilled, and you can see it from the side view. It's like the apex is not overly huge, like you don't want too much of the product on the natural needles change. The reason why I change it, this hand isn't fully cured and I've got time to apply the product on my thumb, then swap them, file them, and then that's the color application. But the filing I'm going to show you maybe on two needles, just to don't keep you boring. And so I can have a nice private conversations with Maggie. Because <laughs> when I'm doing tutorials like a I think, like, I mean, you're different, you're not embarrassed, but some people are embarrassed, like, to talk on the front of the camera and uh, just a couple seconds longer and then we can swap the hands. But also, it's nice to have those kind of me and client time as well, you know, guys? <laughs> so I'm going to cut you off after I file two nails, finish them all, and then we will go back with the color application. Uh, when the nails are curing like this, I always got couple seconds of the spare time to clean my desk if I manage to open a fresh pack of the wipes with the gloves on because I love gloves change your hands so I've got some time to quickly clean it wipe it off I don't want too much dust in there and UV cleanser to remove 
inhibition layer. Perfect. And I show you on two needles how I'm just filing, so you can just relax, hun. So nice and straight, nice and straight. Can you see those field lines? And also it shows me where the needles is not straight. Touch it up, touch it up. So I'm with every move, I'm really know where I'm going with my file. It's not like I'm guessing where I want to go around the cuticle area. I want to blend that all in. If the product is really nicely blended in, you are not going to have any lifting there. And then just smooth it out. More through the end, like free edge of the needle, rather than apex. I don't want to file too much on my apex. Nice and straight, nice and straight. And this way I know that the needle isn't straight, so I can straighten it up. File and blend around the cuticle area. Remove the excess from this part. So you can see it's not like huge amount of the filing because we have been shaping the needle with the first application of the gel. And now I'm just taking a buffer and I'm smoothing everything out. Okay, move into the next one. And after I do all the nails, I do a same check like I did it on the beginning and I might maybe touch up the nail there or there just to make it even more perfect. There might be some small touches. I can see I've got not smooth in there. And that's it. Okay, so these two are filed and they're nice and they're ready for a color application after cleaning the cuticles because that's the part which I'm doing after all the nails filed. So I'm going to do it on my own and then I'm going to come back to you. Okay, so that's us back and I'm just going to check over the cuticles if there is any other places I want to touch up, like a wee tiny bits and pieces. Like it doesn't have lots of cuticle work. Yeah, thank you very much. And you can see it, the reach is still there, but like the product is over it and it should be fine for the next couple weeks. Perfect. So before I'm going to start painting the colors, I will dehydrate the nails again with the blue scrub. So just nicely dehydrate the needles and then we can paint them. Oh, I need to delay all that. Okay, so they are all nicely prepped. I'm just going to clean them with the needle dehydrator again and then we can start painting. And actually, we wasn't supposed to go for a chrome, but then we are going for some nice chrome as well. Uh, so I think it will be a very interesting set. <laughs> so I'm just dehydrating the nail plate. Now let me get you into the camera. Cool. So that's what we are going to use. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And then we will put also this color in as well. It's a really beautiful color. And I think the chrome nail, we will do this one. And then this one we can do glitter. And then this one we can paint this color. Because it's a really beautiful one. So... I always have my cuticle pusher to hand um, and if needed I can push back the cuticles just before I'm painting them because they move back sometimes. So 
So I'm painting a first layer. And this color is absolutely stunning. And then second layer, actually a first layer on the next needle. Sometimes if I'm very fussy about the color application, then I would do maybe two, three needles and then I would cure them, especially going so close to the cuticle. I keep pulling the nail folds down as well because I want to get the gel polish everywhere inside. Just checking any bits and pieces because the cuticles always smooth back so that's it. <laughs> Flying in between the camera. But this color is so beautiful. Maggie wanted something not over the top. She never goes for like, you know, two crazy designs. Uh, but she likes playing with different colors. Nice and simple. Yeah, but they're still different. Yeah, they're nice. Perfect change. Now on this nail, we are going to put this glitter. That's nice too, isn't it? Yeah, I like this glitter too. It's kind of rose gold looking mm -hmm. as well. So it goes with the pinks. And then a second layer. It's okay, it's normal. Yeah, I think it's just taking care of itself. It's the same cutting hair. Oh, sorry, there is something not nice on this nail. Okay, it looks like it could be even touched in a lamp gently. So, what I need to do with this nail to fix it, I need to apply the top coat, buff it, and apply one layer of the color again. I actually like when the things happen because then you know how to fix it. Yeah. So I'm capping the free edge each time as well when I'm applying the gel polish. I do, I do. You can see Maggie has some more cuticle in here, but I wouldn't remove it. That could cause the damage, like this cuticle is... Um, you wouldn't remove it, because uh, it is really strongly attached to the nail change. So I'm really capping the free edge and getting a product nicely to the sides. I don't want any empty spaces. So nice and close. Yeah. Not 
Riga, yeah. Yes, I need to think on some different camera settings because this one is just straight into my face. Perfect change. So we need to fix this pinky nail and to fix it I need to apply the top coat. I'm going to use the UV blocker one because uh, uh, mag is away to the sunshine and the sun can sometimes change the color. So we need to fix these bumps which we've gotten here. Or it could be the... Have you used the soap or the hand sanitizer? The hand soap. The hand soap, it could be also the tiny bit of the hand soap, which I didn't clean it properly with the blue scrub. That's another reason what could happen. It's fine, we will fix it nice. So that's a second layer of the glittery one. I like this glitter as well. Oh, it's beautiful. I think I've maybe had some similar, before, yeah, the yeah. number 19, which is yeah. just slightly lighter, but then because we was going for this one a little bit darker, I think. Now the chrome, I'm going to apply it twice on your nails, like, because the chrome sometimes like to chip, so I've got the solution what to do so they don't chip as well and they last really nice. Change. I didn't apply the top coat on the thumb because I still need to fix this nail, so that saved me a little bit of time uh, as well. So you can see it is not nice because of the sweet wrinkle. So I need to buff it. It's fine, you can just relax it. So after bathing, I will have two options. I could check how it looks after I clean it and just apply the top coat or just apply another thin layer of those gel polish color and then the top coat. So I'm checking and I'm going to apply just a thin layer of this top coat, uh, of the color first and then the top coat, like very thin layer. And then I can also straight away apply the high shine no wipe top gel so we can apply the chrome. Mm -hmm. Change. Mm. So same on this one, I can apply the high shine. would you like some like very gentle design by the gentle design I mean maybe like a couple crystals close to the cuticle or like a, something very subtle like a we maybe glitter fading or maybe on the pinky or something so nothing a couple of crystals. crystals okay change <laughs> yeah we're going for the crystals yeah okay and now this one is still needs to cure but I can apply the top coat on the thumb
I right, so like the crystals, like at the bottom. It, around, the where the cuticle yeah. is, yeah, definitely. Change. I can apply the top coat on this fan. Okay, now we can apply the chrome pigment on this nail. And it's a really, really nice one. Absolutely stunning. Okay, remove the excess. And reapply the top coat. So I'm scratching the surface of the free edge. Apply the top coat and then we're going for a second layer. Side. I like it because it's not like a powder, it's more like an eyeshadow as well. So I'm really rubbing this in. But I don't like it because actually the brush takes off the chromy look to it. Okay, I'm not going to brush it. Normally I use the brush with my other different chromes, but this one doesn't behave this way. It's actually the first time I'm trying it. Change. So... I'm going just to be safe I'm going to first of all like it's too goldish as well I like it but I don't like it <laughs> I'm going to apply second layer with this chrome because I've got this one tested and checked and it's Maggie's holiday meal so I cannot <laughs> yeah And that was a very good choice because it's give it more pinkyish hint to it. Mm. 
looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Gosh, I don't know what's happened, like... Because normally when I brush it with the brush, it's never... Never comes off. And this one did come off. I couldn't risk it. Mm -hmm. No, this one doesn't... Yeah, so this one works just how it should work. <laughs> Okay guys, so I do not recommend the other chrome. It is nice looking one and I thought like it's awesome that it actually change. That it actually is not powdered. Yeah, I prefer this shade as well. Can you can you see the difference like yeah. slightly? So this hand goes back to the lamp. This one, lamp. Perfect. <laughs> Getting confused. Sorry. But the other pigment, when I was brushing it away, it creates some scratches. So that's indicated kind of to me like, you know what? It doesn't behave nice and I don't want to risk it for my client. So I keep I rubbing this in. Catherine, yes, son. Yeah. Yeah. So the fiber gels are thirty six ninety nine for a forty five gram and for a for fifteen grams fourteen grams they are sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. No, 1990. Oh gosh, I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure. Anytime. <laughs> sure. No problem. You have, if you want, you can have a look through the website, which is www.dorotapalitska.com. And that's all the products in there, plus the prices as well. Okay. No, no, it's a new perfect. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Change. So I had some lady asking about the new products. Now on this one we still need to put. I think you keep touching this one. It has a wee, yeah. wee drop of the dust again. Okay, I better put those crystals on it. And now I think for the crystals because those two nails are so rich, we mm -hmm. don't want to put anything um, more on top of it. So I could put a like couple three crystals there three crystals there yeah yeah so i'm using always a small piece actually my move your hand to the maximum perfect and i'm using the base gel to secure the crystal so i'm putting always a tiny bit of the base gel i'm taking a small brush and I will apply the crystals. Change. Now on this one, to apply the crystals, because we didn't knew we want the crystals, I'm just going to give it a gentle bath. Normally I would go straight to, into the wet gel polish and then apply the top coat around it. Okay. But we just decided for the crystals last minute, so I need to bath them because the gel doesn't matter what kind of gel doesn't stick in well to the shiny surface so it's better to give it those wee wipe so 
also a drop of the base. One, two, three. Then on the middle finger, I can go with slightly bigger crystal. Not overly like big. And then smaller around it. And with the base, they stay fantastic, like the crystals. Change. So quick bath. Clean it. And then I love the caviar beads. I kind of tend to put the caviar beads everywhere. Have you had some caviar beads before, Maggie? No, I don't think so. I love them with the crystals because uh, they kind of fill up those empty wee spaces and give a really nice finished look to it. We could either use silver one or we could use the rules gold ones because that's too yellow gold i don't want this one on your nails no. but this one is kind of rosy gold or the silver ones which one would you prefer it what do you think silver no i don't know you prefer silver ones go with the silver ones and actually my find if i have some bigger ones as well I do. <laughs> I love them, like, uh, and those, like, I've got also different kind of decorations like this. Yeah, that looks pretty nice uh, for your winter set. Yeah. I know. And then we've got those uh, glittery, sparkly black. Uh, that uh, would be awesome. Yeah. It wouldn't go with this set no. now. Uh, so we will go for a silver. But for your next one, for the okay. black ones, yeah. like for a winter, absolutely. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just putting a drops of the base again and then we're hitting to pick up those small bits and they are so fantastic fillers for the crystals. So it's nothing too big but it kind of gives those jewel effect to mm. it, isn't it? Change. Rather than just putting like an empty crystals just finish it off they're very fiddly and they're really time consuming uh, so if you're going for a beats uh, applying the beats on your clients nails change then it takes time like it does really takes time and then on this one, I'm going to apply the smaller ones just because it's a pinky and we went for the smaller crystals. So very, very fiddly. Come on, I want only one. And here I want three. Don't lose your patience. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect change. And uh, the best tip I can ki kind of guys give you for a caviar beads, keep swapping the hands like you really don't want to lose or you'll work uh, if the beads move. So I would do a couple and then I would swap the hands just to freeze it. You don't have to even give it full cure, just, just two seconds, three seconds cure 
to just hold them in a place and on the previous tutorials you have seen me like wearing my nails for six weeks and I didn't lose every, any single bit with this application technique change yeah that's nice so it's not over the top because Maggie doesn't like over the top nails mm -hmm. but it has those nice sparkly blink to it and they will look nice in the sun and So what I'm doing now is just applying the top coat around the crystals but not up on top of the crystals. I don't want the crystals to got something there. So I had a bit stick into the snail and I just removed it with the wipe. Change. change just really to freeze the product what else you can do it is take a small brush dip it in, in your top coat and if needed you can put a drop of the top coat in those empty space this is also helping the crystals to stay better. Change. Can't feel it with this gloves. <laughs> That's what I thought. I didn't put the top cut on this one. I think I'm going to work with this hand with the gloves on, and this one is kind of never charging the skin anyway. I'm going to skip this glove. Perfect change so this hand is all finished and the top coat is everywhere just in case slide it on top of your other hand so we can give it a couple seconds more couple seconds more and this time i've got the time to clean up my mess i love them caviar pits this ones you must get them next mm -hmm. time like and i you know we've got those uh, we um it's like a black but with those wee sparkle i had it on my nails mm -hmm. actually there's tutorial on those coffee nails as well like with the black but that will look awesome but then you need the slightly lighter background for mm -hmm. it so they can uh, stand out and not sure have you seen my nails like with the sweet chains so i had like a nail and then from caviar beads i had like a wee chain but you can make any kind of jewel uh, it, you can make almost kind of dream catchers uh, uh, you know okay, styles yeah. And then I've got all sort of different um, metal bits and pieces because I have ordered more and more. So like you could do like those wee different chain uh, yeah. and then put like a wee stud at the end of it. Like it's really, really so nice. many great ideas. So something something nice for your next, no, next, set. <laughs> next set. I take this hand. Hi. Hi. You've got an appointment? No, I won't make one. Okay, sorry guys. I just uh, finished. Just help the lady. You can have a look. Okay, so sorry guys. I had to just cut it off and like serve the lady with the appointment. And yeah, now we, I'm just going to show you the finished look. So I'm just going to clean the hands because if the hands are messy with the dust, the nails never look nice. And then apply the cuticle oil and that's the finished results so really nice I really like that the chrome yeah i love the chrome as well like 
think it's really nice. And you didn't have Chrome for ages, mm -mm. isn't it? No. And then cuticle oil. So lots of cuticle oil. Then wrap this nicely in. Especially that Maggie has a little bit dry skin. So she mentioned that she would actually love to get the hand paraffin treatment. Mm -hmm. That'll be my next treat. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's the finished results. You can guys have a wee look. And I'm just going to take a nice picture of them. I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button as there's lots of tutorials coming up. Thanks for watching Glittery Hacks and bye for now.